glad today. Thank God that the same one that hung on the cross loves me like he loves you. And he'll treat you the way that he treats me. And ain't nobody will ever go hungry if you'll serve and worship a true and a living God. Amen. Woo! Amen. And the Bible said in Leviticus, he's a high priest. Amen. There's none higher than God. Amen. There's none higher than Jesus. And let me tell you about him just a minute, sir, if you don't mind. The Bible says, where is he at today, preacher? He's seated on the right hand of the Father. I'm making the intercession like this. He's our lawyer. He's our between, between him and God. Brother Tim, that he takes our burdens, our trials, our heartaches, and he talks them with the Father. Amen. Amen. The Bible said in the book of Numbers, he's the fire of an eye. Amen. Ain't you glad, thank God, that you don't have to walk in darkness no more? God said, where the light, where the light is, he, and He's there. Amen. If He's in us and us in Him, they ain't got a thing to worry about. Bible said in Deuteronomy, He's as Moses' voice. Amen. 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 You know, He's the voice for all the people, Tim, like you talked this morning, all the way down. And how they had hatred to one another, how the brothers and how the people in the old day had hatred, and how even one was born, as Tim said. He even reached got the Holy Spirit. He wanted to be first, and still the other being first. Amen. But I want to tell you something. The Bible says that is first, will be last. And the last will be first. Amen. So I ain't worried when the time comes, because I know I'm going to be in that number when I hear it say, Well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been a faithful over a few things. Enjoy the blessings of God. Are you happy in your noise? Say amen. Amen. In Joshua, he is salvation's choice. You know, we got a choice. Brother Jim, we got a choice. Amen. The Bible said, choose you this day whom you will serve. Who are you serving today? Who are you asking to help you? Amen. I'm glad I chose him. Amen. Now the Bible says, uh, in Judges, he's the lawgiver. Amen, aren't you? Amen. I'm glad they had to be a lawgiver lance in the old days, like they had to be a grace giver in the new day. Amen. We're not living under the law. We're not the law that says back in the old time. We're living under God's grace. Amen. amen. Jesus said, I died that you can live. I, amen. He said, I die no more. I had a boss man one time say, and I'll tell you right now, if you don't come back and let me feel a, a hand for nails, one end all, I won't believe I said that you'll go to hell then, because he ain't coming back no more. He's paid the price, he's sealed it, and it's up to you who you want to serve, amen. amen. That's a pretty good preaching, Hard, just keep it up a while. <laughs> Bible said in Ruth, he's a kin's redeemer. First and second Samuel, he's our trusted prophet. Amen. Do you trust him today? Amen. Amen. I'm glad. Uh, Miss Bobby back there says, come in a while ago, I was talking to her. She said, you know, preacher, said you pray for my stomach, so they've been a hunting for all these years and all this time. Find out what's wrong. When you prayed with me, God showed them what he was. Amen. 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 And Bobby, I'll tell you, you're going to holler amen on this. And if Bobby would obey God years ago, Bobby wouldn't be in the shape she is today. Am I right? That's right. Amen. What do you say, preacher? What are you talking about? God told her to come up here and let the honor and pray. Amen. And she's going to go on down your hospital anyhow. She said, I wish they had that. And you believe on Monday when she started to go, there was a pouring the rain in her car tore up right out here? Amen. Well, I was going to be a good Samaritan and I wanted to help Brother Arnold, so I loaned my new car to go ahead and drive it. And she said, Preacher, I wish that I never made that trip. Didn't you tell me that, sis? Yes. Amen. So you said, What are you saying? I'm saying is, why don't we believe God when we ask Him to do something that we won't have to run to the doctor and ask why? Amen. Come on, Amen. Praise the name of God, Amen. Yeah, they said 20 some years ago that your preacher would not never walk again. He'd always be in a wheelchair. I got a wheelchair sitting in the closet at the house. And amen. And I sometimes, when I get out, I have to have somebody to help me out. 
I got up here on Sunday, this brother come and give, give his heart back to God, and I believe he really got what he needs. Amen. 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 A whole lot of people may be sitting here that he's what he got that day. Amen. 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 Brother, I'll tell you, I said, I'll get out here and pray with you. If I have to have a bulldozer to come in here and pick me up. And when we got done praying, God give us strength to get up. Brother Ned and Port was on his way to get me up. Amen. Come on, God's got somebody to help you. He said, now I'll make a way for there seemed to be no way. Well, the Bible says now, in Kings and Chronicles, these are so men, God. He's got a passion about it, Brother Tim. Amen. He's got a passion and love for each and every one of them. I don't know who Rita was talking a while ago, and brought part of it out, and she's saying what she did. All of us in his sight are beautiful. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, preacher, you don't look too good. That's your eyes going bad. God ain't buying. <laughs> Amen. And Ezra is true and faithful scribe. Nehemiah, he's a rebuilder of broken walls and of lies. Let me tell you something. You can have everything. Let me tell you something. I'm going to say it real plain. If God's answered your prayer, you've been a year, you've been a praying for God to send my husband, send my son, send my daughter, send my mother, send so and so, send them back to church. And when God sends them, you want to blow up and act the fool about it, buddy, you better watch what you're doing because God just might bury you. Come on, amen. Thank God, amen. I'm glad I'm country -fied. I told a fellow the other day, he said, well, no wonder you ain't got a big church. You ain't been to Brooklyn. I said, I have. I've eaten off of the tree of God for years. Amen. Amen. And I said, it don't matter what you think about me. What God called, this is Bible, take it, listen, and read. What God called, he's qualified Amen. and anointed to preach the gospel. Amen. And God told me to preach it, and I'm going to preach it if it hurt up Grand Paul Jones. Amen. Well, glory to God. Where I, I didn't ask you where I got to. I to look down here. <laughs> and Esther, he's mortal courage. And Job, the timeless redeemer. In Psalms, he's the morning star. In Proverbs, he's wisdom's cry. Ye class three, he's the time and season. And the Song of Solomon, he is the lover's dream. He is. He is, he is. Amen. Thank God I'll tell you right now. A lot of people say, oh, you know, let me tell you something. I told a person the other day, he said, preacher, I want to ask you a question. I said, what is it? Well, how long have you been married? And I said, soon be 53 years. 53 years? Well, I couldn't stand mine that long. You didn't get her like I got mine. I prayed and God put us together. Come on, amen. Amen. Now, if people don't believe what they want to believe. I live like I started living with Rita back down when I was lost. Three months later, God saved me. If I hadn't got saved, she might have left. Because I didn't care for nothing. Amen. But the devil thought he was smart, but I got a hold of God. And God made it to where Daddy told me, Son, one of you can't win an argument. You're going to have to bear it out and pray and work it out. And if you make your own bed, son, don't come back home. You live in it. Amen. 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 Well, well, well. How did I get off on that? Right. And the song of Solomon, he's a lover's dream. And Isaiah, he's a prince of peace. Jeremiah, he's a weeping prophet. And Lamentations, a cry for Israel. And Ezekiel, he's a call from sin. And Daniel, he's a stranger in the night, in the fire. And Hosea, he is a forever faithful. And Joel, he is the spirit power. And Amos, he's the arm that carried us. Amen. Woo! Amen. You know, I begin to look back out. Who is he? What is he? Well, blessed God, if you'll look over there in Shadrach, Meshach, and the baby of the fiery furnace, when they was put thrown in there, and the uh, Bible says it heated seven times hotter than it ordered to heat him. And who was in there when the king looked in? None other than Jesus that had never come there again. Amen. 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 
Preacher, I don't believe that. I can't help that. Amen, Miss Helen. It was so. He said, the fourth man surely is the Son of God. Amen. Amen. Well, who was he in the line then over there? It was Jesus. Amen. Who was he over there when Paul and Silas was in jail? It was Jesus on them. Amen. Amen. Who was he when they went over there and knocked on the little damsel so knocked on the door? And old Peter said, it's me. They said, it came. Peter's over there in jail. It was Jesus that saved for his deliverance, and he walked in. Amen. Amen. Thank God he's still the same God today. Daniel, he's a stranger in the fire. Hosea, he's a forever faithful. And Joel, he's the spirit's power. Amos, he's the arm that carried us. And Obadiah, he is the Lord, our Savior. And Jonah, he is the great missionary. And Micah, the promises of peace. And Nahum, he is our strength and shield. And in Habakkuk and Zechariah, he is pleading for revival. Amen. Amen. You know what we need? You say, preacher, uh, you say, we need a revival. I wonder what you come to church for. We have preached Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night. Amen. Amen. And, and if you don't come to get revived, you're stay at home or until you get done eating long enough to where you can come and sit and get revived. Amen. 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 I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just a plain out old country preacher. Amen. And I like me because uh, Louise said the other day, this uh, fellow said that out from my house, he cut my hair a lot of times at garrison store. And they told me one day that he had cut the gun and killed himself. And he said that he had found out he had cancer and stuck the gun in his mouth and pulled the trigger. But that ain't going to solve nothing. Come on, amen. If I had to, come on, young and sit down and behave yourself and quit running around. Come on up here. Come up here. Hey, come up here. Come up here with your mom and dad. Can Jimmy keep you straight? Amen. Come on up here and quit running around. We appreciate that. Give that girl a hand. And Haggai, the restorer, also heritage. And Zechariah, he's our fountain. Malachi, he's the son of the righteousness rising with healing in his wings. Come on, amen. You know what we need to do? We need to rise up and shine the glory, uh, 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 and for the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Now, don't everybody get mad at me. I'm just a fellow who believes in the house of God ought to be respectful. Amen. amen. Say that amen or oh, man, here we are again. Amen. amen. Come back tonight and we'll preach it again. He is, he is, he is. In Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, he's the God man, the Messiah, and the book of Acts, he is the fire from heaven. Amen. How many of you have been in church? I know ain't many of you got it now, but uh, been in church when the fire of glory come down from heaven, you couldn't hardly sit still, Miss Shook, you want to just jump up and holler glory. Amen. What's the matter with you? Amen. Amen. You get out there and watch an old ball game and you see your side knock a home run. Well, come on there, come on. Amen. I, I passed the Brown Mountain Baptist Church and uh, the old Greg's boy was on the ball team and went over there to Freedom Fat Crack. And old Jeff run down to her and his mama holler, Come on, Jeff! Come on, Jeff! Come on! Sunday morning I got up to preach. She was looking through a songbook. I said, Well, Vine, why don't you lay a songbook down and bless the big God and stand up and say, Come on, preacher! Come on! Come on! Amen! 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 Amen. If you can holler for the devil, why can't you holler for God? Amen. Amen. And I think it's about time to take the quit team, Miss Hill, in the back seat for the devil and sit on the front with y'all. Amen. Woo! Amen. Amen. Well, praise the Lord, I'm feeling pretty good now. I'll be done now. Why? Wow. I was saying in Romans, he's the grace of God. And First Corinthians, the power of love. And second Galatians, in Galatians, he is the freedom from the curse of sin. Ephesians, he's our glorious treasure. Philippians, the sacred heart. And Colossians, he's the Godhead Trinity. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 They're saying now, I had a, you know, and I never thought about it in this reading until I got to uh, thinking about it. I had a sign on my bumper of a Pontiac I had one time that said, uh, God is my co pilot, or however he says that. And I cut the co out. I said, he ain't the co, he is the pilot. And then I got to thinking. 
Yeah, God's a co-pilot, and Jesus is right beside of him. He's our co-pilot. Amen. We got two good pilots, God and the Son, sitting there side by side, protecting us and watching over us. Amen. On the book for my pickup, I got some signs, and I, every once in a while I drive to town, and somebody would come up, and we would have a winter day. I like your signs on your truck. Amen. Well, preacher, that's just a sign. It's still telling people about the grace of God and how they ought to live. Amen. amen. Come on, amen. There ain't nothing wrong with being a child of God. Now listen to what he said in Timothy and Titus and Philemon. He is our meditator and our faithful pastor. In Hebrews, the everlasting covenant. And James, the one who heals the sick. The first and second Peter, he is our shepherd. And in John and Jude, he's a lover's coming and for his bride. In Revelation, he is King of kings and Lord of lords. Amen. My God, amen. Ain't you glad that he's still a King of kings and amen. Lord of lords? Same God yesterday and forever. He's the same one that healed the uh, uh, sick as he will heal you, you say. And I'm going to tell you something here today while you're at it, and I want you to listen. If you don't get healed when you ask, you have to miss. Because my God never lies. Amen. 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 He always does what he says he did. He said, I will give you peace, love, unity. I'll give you whatever you ask. If you'll ask in my name and doubt not, I will do it. Aren't you glad you're saved? Amen. Now listen to me. Are you saved? Are you really saved today? Amen. Jesus is coming one of these days. I told my wife, a boy right out from my house, and he done carpenter work, and he passed away a few weeks ago, and his wife's in a wheelchair, and I guess some of the young ones or somebody's taking care of her. And I said, you know, I miss that old boy, and I see him at the truck stop and talk to him. He always talked about the Lord when he talked to me. And I go in, and I look around, there's my mom and my daddy and my brothers and my sisters and all, they're gone. But there's one thing about it. I have that hope inside that one day, Rita, I will see them again. Amen. Aren't you glad of that? Amen. Amen. I got out the, the paper last night and read it about back yonder in 68, 68 or 69. I might be wrong on that. 96. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm old. Old time preacher. I'm getting too far back in the woods where the young girl wrote about this church. And I got it to the don't like to have a copy of it. I'll get some copies made and give them to you. And she didn't cut no slack. She meant good. We need, I just come here as pastor not long before that, May, and this is June. She said we need to pray for our preacher. He's feeding us the word of God. Amen. And that wife of his, Louise, she's so pretty. I don't know how Preacher Michael's got her. How he had such a way he said he must have pulled something on his head. And he told about those people in the church. You want me to tell you something? That young one loved this church. Does anybody ever remember little Jerry Hamby he used to play the 12 string guitar? He'd run around this church and this pulpit and this fly, hollering, Get up, get up, let God get up, get up, get up, little Jimmy. Get up, get up, shout. North side is time to shout. Amen. Got him on tape. What's happened to us? I'll ask you the question. What has happened to us? We are to be with Well, Lord, hey, listen, ain't nobody going to hit you in the head of the hammer. Well, and it don't matter who's sitting beside them. It don't matter if you're visiting, brother, you want to holler. Let's go and holler. Holler for God. Amen. Amen. Trust in a living God. Serve a living God. Amen. Amen. Miss Rita, come and get a song. I'm done tonight. But would you come today and find out who he is? I'll tell you who he is. He's a lily of the valley. He's a rose of Sharon. He's a bright the morning star. Amen. He is Amen. he that was and is to come again, the everlasting Father. Prince of peace. <laughs> Him is that grace giver. Yes. Amen. Well, I always stand. Would you stand with us? Hey, listen. I
don't care how long you've been saved. Do you pray at home every day like you're to? Do you pray on the job like you're to? Here's the church. All you have to do, you don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell nobody. Just come up here and talk to Jesus. Amen. Why was that?